I've got James Campbell with me on Skype today from Shefford Gems. James, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Andrew. Lovely to chat with you. And good to be speaking with you. Look, an update on exploration out this morning. First off, not everybody familiar with the uh, the newly renamed Shefford Gems. Give us a quick recap, James, on the company. Uh, Shefford Gems, Andrew, was listed on the main board of the London Stock Exchange December the year before last. Uh, Shefford Gems is a mine to market company which focuses on the exploration and mining of precious stones uh, surrounding Mount Carmel and the Kishon Midreach in Israel itself. And it's unique from the perspective in that it's a mine to market company spanning a number of different precious stones and, of course, uh, with the domicile of Israel. And there's three zones that you've been focused on predominantly up till now? Uh, that's correct, Andrew. The origin for the heavy mineral suite is from Mount Carmel, from a, a group of kimberlitic-related rocks, uh, which have the origin deep within the mantle itself. So these are high-pressure, high-temperature rocks, which include diamond and, and moissanite and many others. But we're focusing on the Kishon mid-reach area. There are zones one, two, and three, because these are where these minerals are, are very heavily concentrated. We completed our bulk sampling program on, on Zone 1 last year and recovered just under 10,000 carats at a grade of 153 uh, carats per 100 tonnes. And the purpose of the news release, which we announced earlier today, uh, was to announce the, that we have completed bulk sampling on the Kishon Midreach uh, Zone 2. And those bulk samples are currently in the uh, processing facility uh, at ACO on the, on the Mediterranean coastline. And a total of, was it 30 samples were taken from Zone 2? That's correct. It, it was a, a very similar uh, uh, amount of samples as we took on, on Zone 1 itself. It, these were basically trenches. We, we took on the, the Paleo uh, Kishon uh, watercourse. And from the drilling results, which we announced in January of this year, we expect fairly similar grades uh, to that which we announced from uh, Zone 1. The main purpose, of course, behind this bulk sampling program is not uh, for the sake of bulk sampling, uh, but is to expand our deposit uh, as we progress towards trial mining, uh, which we plan to do during the course of next year. You're expecting it'll be a little while before we hear back on the, the results here from these bulk samples? Well, we, we plan to obviously update the market from time to time on the results rather than a big bang uh, an announcement, especially in, in the recovery of, of any special or, or, or larger gems, particularly uh, around the Carmel Sapphire, which is trademarked to this particular area, uh, moissanite, ruby, hibonite, garnet, and any of the mineral suite itself. As I'm sure investors will, of course, be very interested in the final result, you know, to see if it is in alignment with the 153 from zone one or perhaps even more. But also there is a great deal of interest in the market at the moment in terms of, of larger uh, precious stones. And, and of course, if we discover one of those, they will go straight into a press release. And look, just, just remind us then, so once, once you've heard back on these results, that'll allow you to then apply for a prospecting license, will it, for zone two? Uh, that's correct. We've got a number of different strands going actually uh, with uh, Sheffield Gems itself. Uh, the first and major strand is the uh, reg applying for the regulatory approval to commence trial mining in zone one. Uh, and then the second strand is obviously, as you quite rightly said, uh, Andrew, is to progress the, the licensing around zone two. So this would be an additional deposit uh, we would add on to the zone one mining itself. And, and a third strand is obviously to progress towards zone three as we, we have three zones in the Kishon Midreach. And then a final strand, which is something that is, uh, will be important to us in the fullness of time, is to discover the primary sources of the uh, mineral suite in Mount Carmel itself. How soon might you look to start doing some early exploratory works and bulk sampling from Zone 3? Well, that will only take place next year. The, the primary focus at the moment is, is to complete, obviously, the bulk sampling around Zone 2, which has basically expands our uh, deposit in the area. But more importantly as well, is to uh, go through the regulatory uh, requirements in order to start trial mining on, on Zone 1. And, and that's all based on a technical and economic evaluation study, 
which we announced during the course of, of the art last year. And we are well down the road in terms of seeking what, are, what people call in the industry customary regulatory approval. And James, look, just while I've got you, of course, you've had that recent launch of the, uh, the Heaven on Earth collection, a successful launch by all accounts. Andrew, absolutely. I mentioned at the very beginning mm. of, of that discussion, this is a, a mine to market company in that we explore for this unique assemblage of, of minerals in, in the Kishon Midreach area. We are applying for a, 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 a mining license to go ahead with the, the trial mining next year. And we have partnered with Yossi Harari, a world renowned uh, jeweler designer, uh, to create a heaven on earth collection of, of gems which are very unique to our area and are very much part of, of Yossi's design. And, and yes, this was launched uh, and the, the jewels are currently in the process of being sold, which is very interesting. Indeed. Hey, look, James, thanks for, uh, thanks for updating us from on site this afternoon. Good to see you. Andrew, it's lovely to chat to you as always and all the best.